Hi, this is Megan, and I'm here to walk you through our next segment in the Learn to Monetize More video series. In this tutorial, we're going to generate passback tags using DFP. Passback tags are ad tags that allow you to provide alternative tags in case your specified floor price was not obtained for an ad slot. This ensures 100% fill in your ad slot. As a result, your ad slots always serve an ad impression and always generate revenue. This is a crucial skill for beginners to learn in order to maximize the revenue yield potentials of DFP. Are you ready? Let's start. As mentioned in the intro, passback tags function as kind of a backup plan in case the ad you planned to serve in the ad slot doesn't deliver. Now there are a variety of reasons why an ad may not deliver. The third party server may not have an ad to serve, or an ad that has been trafficked may not meet the minimum CPM. In both cases, the publisher passback tag you create will be served instead, displaying backup ad from your own DFP network. As you can see, passback tags are crucial to ensuring you always have an ad trafficked in your ad slot. To get started generating passback tags, sign into your DFP account and navigate to the Inventory tab. From the Inventory tab, click on Generate Tags on the left-hand panel of the screen. We are now on the Generate Tags page, where we can see all of our available ad units displayed on the left. To select an ad unit, simply click on the Include link associated with each ad unit line item. If you like, you can even generate ad tags for all of the available ad units by clicking on the Include All link at the bottom of the Ad Unit box. The number of available ad units can be quite large. Fortunately, you may filter the ad units in the Filter Items search box. This is where utilizing a consistent naming convention can save you a tremendous amount of time. With a consistent naming convention, you can easily filter the available ad units by searching for components within the ad unit names. In this demo, we can minimize results by filtering based on the creative name or the web page. Let's say we want to create passback tags for our American-listed JOT ad units to be served on our About page. By searching for American-listed JOT About in the search box, our chosen ad units are displayed within seconds. From here, we can proceed to include the ad units, and they will migrate to the Selected Items panel on the right. If you happen to select an ad unit by mistake, or you change your mind, you can easily exclude the ad unit from the Selected Items panel by clicking the X associated with that line item. Or, you may simply remove all the ad units you selected by clicking Reset at the top right-hand side of the box. Once you have the Passback tag selected, click Generate Tags at the bottom of the screen. From here, you will move to the Generated Tags page where you can select the Tag Type, Tag Options, and Tag Results. First, let's choose the Tag Type. We have a choice between a Google Publisher tag or a mobile applications tag. Because we will be generating tags to be served on a website, we will select Google Publisher Tag and click Continue. With our tag type selected, next we must choose the tag options. In this demo, we are interested in generating passback tags, so we will tick the box Create Passback Tag under the Select Tag Options menu and click Continue. And finally, we may view the tag results which displays the JavaScript source code for the ad unit selected. The JavaScript code will include our ad name, as well as the placement ad sizes that may serve this particular passback tag. The tag, or tags if you selected more than one ad unit, are now ready for implementation. You may copy the passback tag and implement where appropriate. It's very important to keep in mind that the passback tag is not to be used for your general targeting, but instead only to serve a passback ad if the intended ad unit is deemed ineligible or for any reason fails to serve. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.